Okay, as you can see, I'm on a walk in nature and I do this to think and I really wanted to get this video out because I know it's going to help so many people and potentially change some lives. So that's pretty exciting. Now, Carl Jung said that who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. And he also said that people will do anything, no matter how absurd, to avoid facing their own souls. So my question to you watching this is why are you on YouTube and why aren't you doing the work? And hopefully by the end of this video, you're going to understand why and how to solve it. So it's a difficult question to ask yourself because not many people can face their own souls like Carl Jung said. And understanding yourself, as Shakespeare said, he literally said, above everything else, know thyself. It's a skill. And if you can learn yourself, you're gonna do very well. So let's get into this. By you not doing the work today, it's not costing yourself anything. It's costing the ones around you, your family, your friends. They're the ones suffering because you simply cannot do the work. Psychological safety is the enemy. Urgent intensity is what we're looking for. You need to create urgency and you have none right now probably. So what I wanted to explain was the power of your body right now and your brain. So before the atomic age, the human body and the hydrogen atoms within the human body was valued at about $34. Now scientists can, there's been so many studies on this that the hydrogen atoms within the human body are valued at about $85 billion. And there's so much energy that it can actually power a highly industrialized country for an entire week. Just think about that, it's insane. So by the end of this video, as I promised, you're going to understand why you can't do the work and how we can do the work. So if you aren't familiar with Sigmund Freud, he was basically a neurologist. And after the First World War, he treated a lot of veterans with PTSD. He also treated women with a condition called hysteria. And although now his practices and theories are judged heavily because scientists aren't, um, I mean, they, they basically say that they weren't proven and he was just a crazy person who just invented stuff. But the way in which he was able to think was very like good. And that's why I'd recommend anyone to watch, um, sorry, read uh, Civilization and its Discontents or other, I'm just looking around because right now I'm in Florida and I wouldn't be surprised if like an alligator just ran out and <laughs> killed me. That'd be an interesting YouTube video. But nonetheless, back to the topic, right? Um, yeah, Sigmund Freud was low-key a genius, um, in my opinion. And he basically split the conscious into three levels of consciousness. He's got the pre-conscious, which is subconscious. You've got the unconscious, which is essentially the deep-rooted memories and experiences, sometimes trauma within the, um, within the brain. And then you've got the conscious mind, which is essentially where you're at right now. You're listening and you're probably watching this, so you're conscious of it. And those are essentially the three levels of consciousness. And to explain it a bit better, um, Sigmund Freud had a iceberg theory where at the top of the iceberg, so imagine an actual iceberg in the sea, um, at the top, you've got conscious mind, which is you watching this. In the middle, or like where the sea level is, you've got the pre-conscious, subconscious, and then by the bottom at the deep, deep depths of the sea, you've got the unconscious mind. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because I need you to understand this context for um, the next thing I'm gonna explain right now. And it's essentially um, between the Eid, the super ego, and the ego. Those are three things you need to understand. On the left shoulder, imagine on the left shoulder, you've got a devil. That is the Eid. Um, the Eid, as Freud basically explained, is mostly unconscious, meaning that we just do it out of instant, uh, instinct and gratification. Um, people like David M. Buss explained that um, he had a book, Evolutionary Psychology, where he basically said that our, what we do, our human behavior and our patterns every single day, why we do things, is linked to our ancestors. And it's true. So uh, a, a, an example of this is, um, imagine you've got a donut and you've got a salad. If I gave that choice to pretty much everyone, most people, 75% would choose the donuts. Why? David says that it's due to our evolutionary instincts in that our ancestors would have taken the donuts because resources were scarce and we wanted to survive. We wanted a quick energy spike so we could, I don't know, catch food or whatever. Um, and we didn't really think long term. Whereas now, more than ever, we need to avoid instant gratification and go for long term plays, which is really important because the easier it is today, so that let's say your work is easy today, I can guarantee you that it's gonna make your future hard. Whereas if your day today is hard, it's gonna make your future easy. So 
yeah, hopefully that makes sense. But going back to the Eid, the super ego and the ego. So as I explained, you've got the Eid on the um, left shoulder, which is like the devil. Humans are very much um, flawed in that we always, we pretty much always go for pleasure and we always want more. So that's on the left shoulder. Imagine on the right shoulder, you've got the super ego, which is basically telling you to do the right thing. And then you've got the ego, which is right in the middle. And that is what makes the decision whether you should eat the donut or eat the salad. <laughs> so how can we essentially eat the salad? That, that's a real question we should be asking ourselves. And the first thing that comes to my mind is screw your instincts. And it's mainly impulse control at the end of the day. It's not about these fancy procrastination hacks or tricks. It's simply about doing less and making it more simple. So impulse control, if you're not sure, what I recommend you do is you have a whiteboard or you have um, your notes on your phone and every time you get an impulse, which will be hundreds of times a day where you want to go on social media, you want to eat certain food, you want to go on Netflix and each time you resist the Eid and you go with the super ego, you just want to take a note and the goal is to beat the day before and if you can do that, what will happen is on a time frame, and to put this into perspective, Einstein literally said that compound interest, he thinks, was literally the greatest thing in the world. I think, I can't remember who said this, but compound interest is like the eighth one of the world, whether it's posting content, if you can do it every single day, or um, I don't know, some type of discipline that you're doing, even if it's 20 minutes a day, over a long enough period of time, you're gonna really, really do well, and you'll be surprised how much it will compound. Um, so it's the same with impulse control and discipline. So that basically explains Freud's theory for why we do certain things and all the, also David M. Buses, in which um, what we do every single day is linked to our evolutionary um, psychology and our psyche. So basically screw your instincts and screw your, <laughs> I'm joking, I was gonna say screw your ancestors, but um, they got us here at the end of the day. So. That's all that matters, definitely not screw them. Uh, big up the ancestors. But um, yeah, so hopefully that explains where you've got the Eid, which is telling you to go towards pleasure. You've got the super ego, which is telling you to do the right thing. And let's just take this video for an example. Before, I didn't really want to make this video. The Eid was telling me, um, Charlie, you don't need to record this. Um, you're doing fine. And the super ego was telling me, no, oh, Charlie, this is your career. You need to make this work. You need a good future for your family, your kids. And then the ego obviously chose to make the video. So why is that? Why did I choose to do the video? I think it's because it's familiar with me and I, I've, I've been able to resist the urge so many times that it's easier. It's like, um, like imagine going into cold water. If it's like your first time and you overthink it, it's like, you probably won't do it. Whereas if you've done it time and time again, and you're familiar with it, you're most likely to do it. As I was saying quickly, if you're gonna take anything away from this video, it should be the fact that you not doing the work today is causing others around you a non-pleasant life, maybe. So I highly recommend you have some urgent intensity in your life because we're all comfort. We're all comfortable if you think about it. Like you've got Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? We've pretty much all got shelter. I mean, you've got a phone, you're watching this. Um, so th there's not really any urgency. So yeah, man, create some urgency. What are you doing? Um, it could be moving country. It could be, because nothing changes if nothing changes. And I don't think we realize how lucky we are to be here right now at this point in history um, for example, Jeff Bezos had to borrow, I think, $250,000 to build his first website and he borrowed that money from his parents. I'm like, think about that, it's crazy. Jeff Bezos had to borrow 200, a quarter of a million just to build his first website. And now you can do it for like $1 on Shopify. Like, what? it's crazy. You're, you don't understand how lucky you are, or we are, to be honest. So I'm always grateful for the ability to work. I have hands, I have a mouth, I can hear. I'm fully functional. If you're fully functional, like that is such a blessing because some people can't do the work and you're here complaining, watching YouTube. Like, well, yeah, I think just get your life together and hopefully this is a wake up call. But yeah, I mean, hopefully you found this video valuable and you learned some things. I definitely recommend checking out Sigmund Freud, Carl Jung, David M. Buss, um, very smart people. 
even though some people disagree with them is what it is you know I yeah and hopefully you like this video if you did just like and subscribe I'll probably make some more raw videos like this um, I'm trying to you know spice it up a bit on my channel because I figured that I've just been doing the same type of content for like a while so I thought this one would be a nice little change in nature as you can see um, and yeah drop a like as I just said and subscribe um, and the reason you want to subscribe is because I'm going to be dropping absolute bangers and I do not want you to miss out on them so yeah and comment what videos you want next follow my Instagram and I'll catch you in the next video take care